Hello, Cancerians. I hope you're doing great. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video on whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Let's do this. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Cancerians for the highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cancerians in their life and how are Cancerians currently doing on their soulmate journey. What's coming up for King Sirians in their life? And how are King Sirians currently doing on their soulmate journey? What should they expect coming up in their life? This one is kind of trying to be shy and hide from me. There you go. Let's see. Ooh. You love your soulmate a lot, but you have problem communicating with this person. Getting through to them for some reason. It's like you're not telling them. So this is for those of you that have um, currently are dealing with problems in your relationship. Yeah. Um, hmm. You love your soulmate a lot, King Syrians, but mm, you have very hard time communicating with them effectively it's like there's not enough solid communication you really want to mm, clear the air with them this is a serious connection for you so traditionally speaking here of instance for marriage or engagement or living together that kind of situation so this is a serious connection for you you either want this person to be your lifetime commitment or are married to them or living with them Either way, you feel that this person is the one for you. You don't want to replace them with anybody else because you truly love this person deeply. Yeah, wow. So you two have long-standing soul history together where the two of you were together in matrimony many lifetimes. Don't worry, Cancer. It doesn't mean you have to marry them in this lifetime if you haven't. I know marriage is not for everybody, but uh, this shows that this is a soul connection uh, that the two of you have for a long time. Yeah, you love this person, but you bored with the way this relationship is going. Yeah, and this is you feeling like something has to shift, change for the better. Universe, please show us. What's coming up for Cancerians and how are Cancerians currently doing on their soulmate journey? You love this person enormously, but you're not really expressing it. No, you're not with them at this time. So there's breakup between you two, disconnection. You're not really telling them how much they mean to you. It's like you're holding everything inside of you not telling them you've been very patient with this person you've been very patient so it looks like they're gonna try to communicate with you but they don't really express their emotions oh my goodness i'm so sorry you're going through so much so you broken up yeah you see this on top of um relationship card is a breakup card, heartbreak. You see this? Three of Swords, the worst card in the whole deck. You feel like this relationship is broken up, but you still love them. That's why it's so hard on you emotionally. Yeah, you don't feel emotionally fulfilled in this relationship. Even though you love this person, you don't feel emotionally fulfilled in this relationship, but at the same time, you don't feel emotionally fulfilled without them either. I'm sorry you're going through so much, Cancerians. Huh. 
You're checking up on this person. You're checking up on them. Curious what they up to, what they're doing, what they're feeling, what they're thinking and planning. Yeah. You're trying to figure out in every which way how to do this to save this relationship. Yeah, you're broken up. You're not with them. So something has shifted in your life recently. It's in the past two months, between um, beginning of or the end of February and now, something has shifted drastically in your consciousness, in your spiritual awareness. You feel that if this relationship is going to continue this way, be so draining emotionally that you have to move on, even though you love this person. Yeah, you're hiding from them how you feel about them. It's like you're not telling them. Uh, you're hiding from them how you truly feel. Yeah, you're going through a lot of sadness. I'm so sorry. Yeah, this is tough. I know. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cancerians and how are Cancerians currently doing on their summit journey. Your heart is unable to let this person go. You still love them. So even though at times your sound judgment is telling you to let this relationship go, your heart is not able to let this person go. Yeah. You're not communicating right now. You're going within, trying to uh, reflect, um, to figure out what to do, how to do it. Yeah. Concent you are, you're heavily concentrating on your work, your job, your finances, your money, your income. You're trying to distract your mind with your job so you don't have to feel the emotional disappointment um, in this situation. Let's see what's going on with this person. I'm very curious how they are towards you right now. You know, let's please show us what is going on currently with the soulmate of Cancerian. And how is the soulmate of Cancerian towards Cancerian at this time? How are they towards Cancerian at this time? What's going on with the soulmate that Cancerian has been dealing with? Yeah, that's it. Ooh, they're not happy. They're showing up as reversed empress. They're not happy without you. Yeah, you see, they realize they didn't meet you halfway. They didn't meet you halfway. This person has been in and out, in and out of your life. My least favorite night of all nights, night of ones. They have been kind of coming and going, not really committing in a healthy way not communicating effectively, not listening to your concerns and warning signs. They feel like you are letting them go, like something changed drastically uh, in your energy, in your behavior towards them. They realize they need to act maturely, that they know why you're letting them go, why this is changing, shifting. They know. So that's a very good sign, right? Because we all make mistakes, but we need to address those mistakes in order to learn from them, right? Yeah, you don't know how badly they want to reconnect with you. Yeah, your job is showing up here again. You are meeting somebody new, King Syrian. Somebody somehow connected to you through work, whether it's through your work, or the new person's job. You see this? Somehow work, job, is connecting you and the new person you are meeting. Let's see. Universe, please show us what's going on currently. So you definitely have every right to feel so highly disappointed in this relationship because of their behavior. You see inconsistencies in this relationship. Universe, please show us... Um, What's going on currently with the soulmate of Cancerian? And how is that soulmate towards Cancerian at this time, especially emotionally? Oh, they love you deeply. They do. Two of Cups. This person loves you deeply, but their behavior 
uh, does not match how they feel about you. Yeah, they're used to this kind of behavior, impulsive behavior, not thinking things through, just coming and going, not really committing, not really communicating effectively. They're concerned because they view us available, attractive, alluring, independent, strong-willed, not chasing them. Yeah, you see, you either already met the new person or about to meet them. Yeah, this is the minor camera of the Empress energy. They really don't blame you for letting them go. They understand your point and they agree with you. Yeah, they do. They very much set in their ways. This person is so set in their ways. They're holding on to this emperor uh, persona so tightly. Yeah, they very much set in their ways. Yeah, you see, they realize, thanks to you, Cancerians, they look at their life and behavior more objectively now. They realize and see clearly what needs to improve. The question is, will they do it, right? Will they actually, yeah, you see, they feel they have a lot of work to do. Yeah. This means apologies, peace offerings, gifts, explanations. They're not happy with their life. No. So if you think they're happy with their behavior, their life, no, they're not. This is them feeling empty, uh, emotionally unfulfilled, sad. Um, I'm so sorry you both are going through so much. This person sees very clearly what the mistakes were that were made. But the question is, will they fix them? Will they correct things, right? Will they hold themselves accountable? That's the question here. You know, please show us. Um, this person loves you a lot. Yeah, they do. But their actions, behavior doesn't really affect, um, doesn't really reflect um, how they really feel about you for some reason. Let's see. You see, they know they're going to have to take action. Like they can't just sit there waiting for you to proceed with action. They're going to have to be the ones coming towards you. They are determined, though. Yeah, they really are determined. Here is Chariot. They're going through a lot of emotional highs and lows. Yeah, they realize they're going to have to. Oh, my goodness. They're so heartbroken over losing you. Three of Swords in their subconscious position is showing me that they're very good at hiding their feelings. They don't want you to know how devastated, emotionally heartbroken they are over losing this relationship. Yeah, they're so worried you're going to be with someone else. They value you a lot. Yeah, they realize that they need to greatly improve to gain your trust again. They can't just come with pretty words knocking on your door and saying, I want to come back. They know that you are highly disappointed. I'm so sorry. This is so tough for both of you. Cancerians, I'm wishing you all the best. And I'll talk to you next time. Sending you lots of love.